What is up guys, how are you? Today we'll be looking at the Yahoo Mail app for Android. Now this app has been around for a while but personally I chose not to use it back back a few, a few uh, weeks back or a few months back because the app was it was not very good, it wasn't very stable and the just the way the design was it was awful. But they seem to have improved a lot. Now it's not a regular mail app, it's totally different from mailing apps so we'll go ahead and take a look and see how it's different now I'll just quickly open the app as you can see it looks very different obviously you can see my messages and then there's a little there's the subject and then over there you get like a kind of preview on what is inside the message it's a whole lot different than the stock Android Gmail app and the stock app that comes in Android as well for email it's totally different so let's say for instance if I open an email yeah I have basic functionalities such as pinch to zoom pinch to zoom in pinch to zoom out and as you can see you can get the BB10 for $2.99 if you're interested so yeah pinch to zoom works you can switch between email by pressing the up and down arrows within the app <clears throat> you can also do f basic functions such as reply forward you can um, also move to folder you can also delete and you can mark it spam and you can also star the message on the very top if it's, if it's an important message so that's that for the email part now the cool part is if you want to refresh you can just pull down oops sorry guys you can just pull down the inbox and it would just auto check email and refresh however push notifications are sent as soon as you get emails so that's not something to worry about and you can tap the top button to compose a new message now you can select the emails whatever you want to delete you can delete them you can move the folder mark is in red mark them as spam or star them as I have start two over here so we'll just I'll just show you guys now you might be wondering where the sent messages are and where the drafts are, where the spam is, where the trash is. So it's all over here. Yahoo has actually put them all on the side nicely. This might remind you of the YouTube app because it has sort of the same design to it. So you have drafts, you have sent, you have spam. You can nicely delete that by the hitting those two trash can buttons. Now what Yahoo has done is all your Yahoo contacts that you have added, you can just, they've made two folders. One is for files. If you receive any email with files in them, they would come here. And of course, spam won't come in there. And email for contacts, people who you've got added on your Yahoo Messenger or on Yahoo email on your PC, you don't need to have them on your phone. If Once they're added on your Yahoo account, you can just go there and only email from your contacts would be shown. So that's also something neat Yahoo has done. And obviously you can do stuff such as add new folders and also the messenger is available. However, you have to separately download that, which is obviously not a problem. You can also add accounts. Right now I only have one. You can add, I don't know, I think it's up to two or three. I'm not pretty sure. Now we'll quickly go into settings. There are general settings such as message preview. You can read one line of the message. You can also see a thumbnail if it has like a picture or like a file installed to it. And obviously you can enable or disable SSL. Now account settings, you can tweak the notifications. You can choose what kind of sounds you want. You can choose if you want to see the messages in the status bar up in the notification or not. You can choose if you want it to vibrate or not. And in the other, obviously, you can choose if you want to sync your Yahoo contacts. And you can also use signature and then specify what you want to use. I'm pretty sure you won't want to use sent from Yahoo Mail and Android. But whatever you want, you can specify that. And that would be used for future emails that you compose. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's a very neat mail app. I would say it's maybe one of the smoothest apps out there right now. Um, if you use Yahoo, you should definitely give this email app a try. So if you like this video, guys, do give it a thumbs up. This helps me a lot. And do subscribe for more as that helps me even more. And you can stay in touch with whatever new videos I make. And 
Any questions or suggestions, do follow me on Google Plus or Twitter or leave a comment down below and I would be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye bye.